People complain about their jobs. People love to complain about dating. I'm constantly hearing women, dating is hard. Dating in LA is so hard for me. I work out with makeup on, I just can't get a man. It's so hard. Yes, with that voice, it would be difficult for you to <laughs> land a hottie, I understand that. But let's not blame Los Angeles, okay? Don't blame LA or the city you live in, okay? It's not their fault, okay? Because dating is difficult anywhere you go. New York, Miami, in fact, pretty much anywhere there's a CSI series. <laughs> There's dating, it's difficult. Men and women just communicate differently. I'm bad at flirting, for example. I never know, are you flirting with me? Are you making fun of me? Should I laugh? Should I cry? Should I be offended? Should I kiss you? Should I hit you in the mouth? I don't know. <laughs> Talking to this guy the other day, he was like, hey, Eliza, check it out. If I could be any animal, you know what I'd be? I was like, what, Tad? What would you be? It's like, check it out, I'd be a cougar. Because they're sleek, strong, and when they see their prey, they lock in on it and they just pounce. I was like, okay. What you've just described to me sounds like a metaphor for a rapist. <laughs> Appreciate the effort though. You ever date someone smaller than you? I'm really talking to the ladies. Guys, I hope you have, unless you have like an Amazon fetish. I, uh, <laughs> I dated a guy once about this tall, kind of a tiny guy we were making out one night and I thought it'd be great to spice things up. So I leaned down, I whispered in his ear. I was like, baby, tell me what you want. And his answer was, I want you to get off of me. <laughs> Felt good. We were sleeping later that night. I heard a noise at the door. I was like, baby, wake up. Wake up, there's something at the door. At the door, go look. He turned around, looked at me point blank, and just went, I can't protect you. <laughs> Give big mama the bat, I'll go take care of it. You stay here, make yourself look pretty. This guy I had a huge crush on actually called me the other day. He's like, hey, Liz, what's up? You wanna go out Friday? What are you doing? I was like, nothing, I'm just working out naked. Something. It's like, cool, let's go out Friday. I'm like, yeah, that sounds awesome. What do you want to do? So like, I'll give you a hint. <laughs> it involves pillows and blankets. So of course, I'm sitting there thinking, you know, oh my God, we're going to build a fort. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Eliza Schlesinger. Thank you very much. <laughs>